Ben Sinha, I'm the CTO and founder, co-founder of CoinSecure, which is a Bitcoin exchange in India. And uh, Bitcoin is a very interesting technology. It was invented around 2009, uh, 2009 when a white paper was introduced by an anonymous uh, contributor named Satoshi Nakamoto. Uh, the white paper, which is seven pages long, is one of the clearest uh, explanations of how a payment protocol should work, right from the point of creation of the token to the point of issuing of the token and validation of how the token moves from one point to another. Uh, Bitcoin is a completely decentralized network, which basically means that it does not require any centralized server to store the, or control that data. So is that Bitcoin is very similar to the internet or the email when it first started out. It is a complicated mess with a lot of uh, uh, non-human readable characters, uh, a lot of technology that can't be understood very easily by people. And uh, CoinSecure as a team, we decided to start educating people to start with, to, uh, to get people to understand what this concept was, to, get their, to wrap their heads around it. So we started the first meetup group in India, uh, started blogging, started understanding what the legality was, sharing it with the community, becoming leaders in the community. And around 2014, we uh, decided to get onto a venture where we build out a transactionary platform. And that's where CoinSecure was born as India's only really, uh, algorithmic trading platform today. Uh, the, the big question here is, uh, who is Bitcoin for? And the beauty of this technology is that it's for absolutely everyone. Almost every single business that has been built up over the last 100 years of fiat, Indian rupees or US dollars or the yen or any other currency, has the potential to change to something global. Uh, with a globalized ledger where, almost, where, where absolutely every transaction is recorded and can be validated uh, at any point in time. It's extremely fast. Um, so uh, who is it for? It, it's, it's literally for everybody. Right now, Bitcoin is primarily used by day traders and people from stock market backgrounds because there's a huge amount of arbitrage that can be uh, uh, earned out of this. So what people tend to do is they purchase Bitcoin from one exchange and sell it to another exchange since it's a 24-7 floating rate. And that's the main, uh, main way uh, that the bulk of people are using Bitcoin right now. Uh, but on the other side, uh, globally, apart from India right now, Many of the countries have got several merchants, more than 60,000 uh, merchants who accept Bitcoin, including Microsoft, Dell, Newegg, and uh, all the larger names, all the large companies as well as small players. Everybody accept Bitcoin. And this is the biggest scope where it breaks the barriers for global trade. Anyone from anywhere in the world can spend their Bitcoins and purchase items from anywhere in the world. And, and companies are free to do this primarily because Bitcoin is a technology that's built for this. Uh, what are the challenges in a space uh, surrounding Bitcoin? The biggest challenge that we've noticed so far is an ability, is a huge inability for governments to understand what this technology is and to give any clear guidelines globally. While most governments keep mentioning they're looking into technology like this, there is no country that has actually released a set of formal guidelines that are form followed anywhere because they cannot be developed around this software. This software has been built in such a way that it, it cannot be governed very easily or cannot be governed at all in, in, in most cases. Uh, this presents a bit of a problem because people are not able to comprehend how this should be worked around. Uh, a lot of laws that we currently look at in, in, in terms of applying to financial service products are laws that are already customized and written for today's products. It's very unfair to try and pair uh, that up with something like Bitcoin, which is a future product which has to have new rules and regulations. Uh, and that, that seems to be the biggest challenge right now and it's not a challenge from a user perspective. Uh, security is top notch, no Bitcoin, Bitcoin has never been hacked once, ever. While services that offer Bitcoin have been exploited in the past, Bitcoin itself has never really had any serious problems. Uh, it's been a uh, fantastic uh, proof of concept, millions of people work around it, billions of dollars have been invested into it as well. So this uh, technology like this is very difficult to actually uh, uh, build challenges around because this is the technology that's built to break most challenges that are currently present in terms of uh, financial transfer or e-commerce.